Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about the difference between reduced by key and group by key. So again, this is something related to the Spark performance related question uh, where the interview want to understand whether you have the understanding about Spark performance or not. This is a frequently asked question wherever you go for a Spark interview. So let us try to understand the difference between group by key and the reduced by key. So if you know about the reduced by key and the group by key, maybe you work on the SQL. So group by key, what exactly it is doing? It is doing the aggregation. So let's say that group by department. So if I want to see all the records, which are the part of department, okay? So in that case, I can do the group by. So in the same way, we can also use the reduced by key. But when you use the reduced by key or if you use the group by key, in both the cases, you will get the same answer. But the case is over here that which one we should use to increase the performance of your Spark job. And that is what we are going to learn with this video. Before I go to my screen, I would request you to please do like, subscribe and share this channel. And on my channel, you will see a lot of interview questions related to the Spark, Hadoop and there are different different technology I'm explaining over here. So let's get started. Let's try to understand the difference between reduced by key and group by key with this example. So if you see here that there is one input is there. Okay, so we are basically using the word count program. So there are three node and on this three node there are three partitions. So we are assuming this is my first node partition, second node partition, third node partition. And we are trying to combine the word count by using the word count program. So we have an input which is only A and B is there. Okay, so A comma one, B comma one. So we got the output A comma one, B comma one. Because there is nothing to combine over here. Now if you go to the second node, here you can see there are two A's are there, A and here. Now there are two B's are there, right? So instead of doing the word count with the other what I can do, I will do this word count on the same node only, right? On the same node because I have two A and two B's are there. So what I will do, I will do the locally, I will do the locally aggregation, okay? I will do the locally aggregation. So I'm getting the output like AA, which is two times. So I'm getting the output as A comma two, B comma two, right? And let's go to the third node. On third node, there are three A, and 3b so right now i am not concerning about what any a is there on second node or third node no i am not concerning about the first node and second node right now i am mainly concerning about the locally means on my node how many a are there and there are three a right so we got the output from first node that is a comma one from second node so i am assuming that this is my node okay from second node, I'm, I got the output called A comma 2 and from third node, I got the output called A comma 3. Now I can use the reduce by key where the shuffling of data will be happen because this is the first node, this is the second node output, this is a third node output. So what I will do, I will combine all the output and I will get the output as A comma 6. But before it going to the A comma C, before I get the actual output here, what is the most important thing that we have observed? It is doing the aggregation first of all locally. Okay. And then it is combining the output. So basically it is using a combiner. If you know the MapReduce program, there is one concept called combiner. And this is what actually it is performing over here. So because of that only, this reduce by key play a really really important role whenever you want a faster performance of your job okay faster performance of your job compared to the reduce compared to the group by key how we will see the group by key example okay how group by key is expensive now let's try to understand the same word count program with the help of group by key one thing which i want to tell you here that whatever the outputs you are getting with the help of reduce by key and group by key will be always same okay the output will be always same if you use the reduce by key or group by key there will not be any problem with the output now what is the difference between reduce by key and group by key 
so in group by key in the same example what we observe that it was calculating the number of count of word locally okay but if you see here in group by key nothing is happening on locally so whatever the data which is available as an input on every node first node second node and third node all are getting shifted okay all are getting shifted to over here so there is a huge shuffling okay so that is a problem here is a huge shuffling of data okay and when i'm saying that there is a huge shuffling of data this operation is really really expensive okay we should always try to use the locally and now how that local is happening with the help of combiner but in reduce by key none of the combiner is working internally there is no combiner and because of that only the group by key is is very expensive operation and we should not use the group by key because we have the option called reduce by key okay and that is what happening over here so whatever the data which is available in one two and three node all are coming over here and then it is giving the output as a comma six because it is combining every key over here and here also it is combining all the key related to the b comma six but why it is happening because of none of the operation is happening locally and all the operations uh, all the data is getting shuffled from one partition to another partition from here to here from here to here and here to here also right so this is the main difference between the reduce by key and group by key i hope you are clear if you have any questions just let me know into the comment section definitely i'll get back to you please do like subscribe and share this channel guys so i will be creating more and more videos based upon this spark interview question thank you